And Vice President Mike Pence flew to Indianapolis Sunday, where he staged a walkout of an NFL game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Indianapolis Colts, after players on both teams held a protest against racial injustice during the national anthem. Pence's decision to leave appeared pre-planned, after President Trump said he asked his vice president to leave during any protest. More than 20 members of the San Francisco 49ers knelt during the anthem, while Colts players stood with locked arms, wearing shirts reading, We will stand for equality, justice, unity, respect, dialogue, opportunity. This is San Francisco 49er safety Eric Reed, who joined quarterback Colin Kaepernick's national anthem protest last year, speaking on Sunday. This is about systemic oppression that has been rampant in this country for decades, on top of decades. And I will continue to say and encourage people to educate themselves of how we got to where we are today, because it didn't happen overnight. And it's not going to happen overnight to fix these issues. It's just, it's really disheartening when everything that you were raised on, everything that I was raised on, was to be the best person I can be to help people that need help. And the Vice President of the United States is trying to confuse the message that we're trying to, trying to put out there. Vice President Pence's brief visit to Indianapolis cost taxpayers an estimated quarter of a million dollars. After he traveled from Las Vegas to Indianapolis for the brief appearance at Lucas Oil Stadium, before flying back to a fundraising event in California.